Well, good evening, folks. How are you? I hope that I find you all very well indeed and a warm welcome back to What's For Tea. And let me just start off by saying Happy New Year to each and every single one of you. This is the first Meals of the Week for 2020. So thank you for all your support last year going into 2020 and there's going to be many more fun videos to come. So thank you all. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. Like I said, this is just our Meals of the Week. We call it tea. You might call it dinner. You can call it whatever you like. We just, we just call it tea because I've got a lot, you know, quite a lot of folk do ask, you know, what's tea? Where's the tea? That's just simply what we call dinner. So we usually start off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. So let's go and see what we had this week. Starting off on Monday, me and Mr What's For Tea actually went to the cinema to see a movie called Knives Out. It was just an old school kind of whodunit and it was actually pretty good. So I started off with a mozzarella and tomato salad and Mr What's For Tea had bruschetta. He wasn't that keen on his, but I thoroughly enjoyed mine. You know, it's just it's tomato, um, fresh mozzarella, there's basil, spinach and a lovely balsamic glaze on top. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. On the other hand, this was my main and I wasn't overly keen on mine's. Mr What's For Tea had a pizza. And then we had a dessert with a New York Sunday, and that's it, just winging its way to us there. And this was lovely. It was layers of strawberry and New York cheesecake, shortbread, uh, strawberry ice cream and cream. And it was, oh, amazing. Moving on to Tuesday, this was New Year's Eve. So I had a burger. So that's a brioche bun with some ketchup, some smoked German cheese, quarter pounder, slice of beef tomato and the top of the bun. We also had some chips and cheese and a side salad hiding at the back. This was really nice. This is why I didn't have a burger at Frankie and Benny's the previous night. <laughs> so lettuce, carrot, edamame, beans, corn, tomato, cucumber, red pepper, grated cheese and dressing as well. And this was it inside and it was so tasty. You forget how tasty a burger actually is. Moving on to Wednesday, this is New Year's Day. Now, we would typically get a steak pie, but we've had steak pie so much recently, we just ended up getting a mince pie from the local butcher. So it's some carrots, tender stem broccoli, herby roast potatoes, and that's the mince pie there. And we all love this. So tasty. So I think we've got steak pie for next week, but we didn't want to have it three weeks in a row. It's a bit much. <laughs> And then moving on to Thursday, I made a mild chicken curry in the slow cooker. So it's basmati rice and a chapati. And that's the mild chicken curry there. Now, I will leave the recipe for this in the description box down below. Any meals that I've done that feature in Meals of the Week, I always leave in the description box down below. Just click on the show more and you'll find them there. And these were the chapatis that I used. I just get two packs of these and I think they're about 70p each and they were really nice. Moving on to Friday and I just made a simple cheese and bacon pasta. We just wanted a simple pasta. You know, we've been having so much meat recently. So with some cheesy garlic bread and some macaroni cheese with bacon inside and a wee salad of tomato, basil, garlic and olive oil. Nice for a wee light change. I actually had sausage stir fry. I didn't fancy the pasta. So this is just some stir fry veggies, some noodles, soy sauce. And there's a stir fry sauce in there. I think it was the Chinese one from Tesco and a smoked sausage with a couple of tortilla wraps. Moving on to yesterday and with chicken and mushroom pies. These are from the butcher, these wee individual pies. So with that, with some mashed turnip, some herby baby potatoes and some garden peas, with a wee splash of gravy on top. There were only three of us for tea tonight. We are actually meant to be four, but it ended up there was only the three of us. So we all had these. Lovely. And moving on to today, we had good old mince and tatties. And again, I'll leave the recipe for this down below. So we had some mashed potato there, and I got some mince from the butcher. And some garden peas and that's the mince there. Now sometimes I put carrots in this or peas or turnip but I just kept it plain. There's only onion and you know the gravy obviously but this is a big big favourite in the house. Everyone enjoys this. It's just one of these things. Very Scottish, very traditional. 
So I'm sorry about my voice, guys. You know, I'm getting, starting to get a bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's certainly creeping up on me. <laughs> so these are just a few of your comments from my videos, you know, during the week. And I'd love to respond to each and every one of you individually. But, you know, there's that many of them. So I just, I pick a few at random. So the first one is from Sonia and she said, congratulations on 20k subscribers. That Tesco fine is cordial was a bargain. I agree with you about the potatoes. They do seem to take ages to cook. So thank you very much, Sonia. I think I'm now actually uh, over 20,000 round, you know, just over. So thank you very much. And I'm super duper chuffed. So thank you all once again. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. You know, I, I wouldn't have the exposure that I've got. So I really do appreciate all of your views and likes and comments and such so thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you very much for your comments on you next comment is from callum anderson hi callum he said happy anniversary to you and mr what's for tea when it comes jasper looked quite content there i'll check out kitchen spies channel well thank you very much callum and so many of you have gone over to kate's channel and subscribed i think the last time i looked she was she was over 300 you know I and mean, i did give her a wee shout out i think she had one or two so thank you guys for going over checking out her video and deciding to subscribe you know she is new she's just starting but she's going to be fab her next comment is, the MASH Direct company who grow and produce your MASH turnip are a Northern Irish company about three miles from me. Hope you enjoy eating it. Well, I mean, we've had quite a few products from them. We've had the MASH turnip, we've had the MASH carrot and sweet, and I think we've also had some uh, cabbage as well. And they're absolutely fab products and they taste just every bit as good as homemade fresh. So yeah, we love them. Next comment is from Homesteader Down Under Australia. And they've written, thanks for sharing your video from Michelle in Australia. Love your accent. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. And thank you for watching. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> Next comment is one of the above. And they've written, holy Moses, you've got gorgeous eyes. Just a beautiful lady. Happy New Year from Canada. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. And happy New Year to you too. And thank you very much for commenting and watching. The next comment's from JT Lamunch and they've written, I love banoffee pie. We'll definitely be trying this trifle version. It looks absolutely amazing. Happy New Year, Cheryl, and all the best for 2020. Well, the absolute same to you, JT Lamunch. <laughs> Happy New Year and all the best for 2020. Thanks for watching. Next comment is from Gina Bayer or Bayer. I make strawberry trifle but never seen a banana version. Well, we do strawberry, well, I do strawberry trifle every single year for Christmas. And, you know, it's just for a wee change because you do, you know, you like to change things up once in a while. So thanks for commenting. The next comment's from Lee. So nice to see you at the start. Been binge watching your stuff the last few days. So relaxing listening to you. All the best for 2020 for you and your family. And again, thank you very, very much for watching. And the very same to you. All the best to you and your family for 2020 and beyond. Thank you very much for watching again. The next comment's from Julia Jacobs. Ah, you had me at Bailey's. Isn't it fabulous, Julie? It's just one of these drinks, you know, it's quite dangerous because it doesn't taste alcoholic. Well, to me anyway, not too much. It's like you're just drinking a very nice cream. So you can get carried away. So you got to sort of try and rein it back a wee bit. But I had some left over because I did buy a bottle because I needed some. Well, that was my excuse anyway. I needed some for the banana or the, the banoffee trifle. So I had to buy a big bottle because I couldn't find a miniature for the trifle. So we ended up with a big bottle. So what didn't get used in the trifle? Me and Mr. Watts for tea just had that at New Year, you know, just as the clock struck 12 o'clock to welcome the bells in for Hogmanay. That's what we call, you know, New Year's Eve in Scotland. It's actually Hogmanay. And I believe we're the only country you know, in the world, <laughs> to call it Hogmanay. I don't really know the reasoning behind it, but I'm sure someone in the comments would be able to tell you. But yes, yeah, so that was my Meals of the Week for this week, guys. So thank you ever so much, like I keep saying, for coming over and checking out my wee videos, deciding to subscribe, and then going on to comment, like, dislike, whoever you choose to support me. I really don't mind, because at the end of the day, it's all engagement, and it gets me good exposure. So till I see you next time, guys, mind to take care of yourselves, and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye now.